sex. Yes. No! In this age of sexual immorality, the sex is something that is everywhere. It's everywhere you turn. You turn on TV, it's on the majority of the shows. You turn on the radio, it's nearly every song. You go to a movie, and it's there too. You walk around the mall, and it's everywhere you look. I was walking by a store at the mall this weekend, and they thought it would be a great idea to put these two half-naked people outside of their store. It's using this sex appeal to sell their product. I was appalled and shocked. I couldn't believe it. They would use people as a sex item to get people to buy their product. Now, a lot of people out there might not think that there's anything wrong with this because they love the flesh, they love to have sex, and they enjoy it. Now, sex is something to be enjoyed, but between a married couple, between one man and one woman in a married relationship, And when you have sex out of marriage, you destroy what it is meant to be. And the majority of the people watching this already have had sex. And they're not married. People have sex before they're even graduated. I mean, how sad is that, really? You know, the fleshly desires might feel good, but they're very fleeting. And God doesn't want us to have sex outside of marriage. That's why he commands us to wait until we're married. Um, and we should obey him. I've never had sex. I'm waiting until I'm married. And I'm excited to share that experience with my wife when I do. So that it will be an amazing, real experience. If you're starving and somebody throw you a cracker, you're going to be like this? God damn, that's the best cracker I've ate in my life. That ain't no regular cracker, was it? What was that, a saltine? God damn, that was delicious. That wasn't no saltine, no, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was the wrist. That, was, that wasn't the wrist. I said, God, that's the best cracker I've ate in my life. Can I have another one, please? Please, one more. Then you get married because you think you found the bomb. 
had the same crackers every day for a year? And you roll over one day and be like, hey, I just got some regular old crackers. And a lot of people don't value that. They want to do what they want to do, and they don't want to obey God. But just because something feels good doesn't make it right. I know how it feels to lust, and it is tempting sometimes, and it is hard to refuse it. I know, but we must. We must turn from that. Repent of that feeling. Don't let your lust and your sexual desires control you. You have to learn to control them. But, it is worth the wait. It is worth the wait. To wait for your married partner. So I encourage everyone watching this to wait until you're married to share that experience with your future partner, with your husband or your wife. I encourage it. And until next time, everyone, take care and God bless.